Hey, what's up, friend? What's up, my man? How you doing, buddy? Good, dude. Good. It's a yep. uh, snow day, so I'm stuck in the basement. Kids are upstairs out of school today. Yeah. It's always a good time. Always a good time. Um, yeah, man. Same uh, same situation. Hopefully our power doesn't go down. I saw your lights flickering. Mine were flickering. Uh, pretty good little storm outside, and uh, you know, hopefully it'll hold off, and we can we can spit these words of wisdom, self proclaimed words of wisdom, <laughs> self proclaimed words of wisdom, self proclaimed words of wisdom. But hey, we, dude, it, you know it's a uh, it's January. New Year's resolutions are are hot and heavy. Yeah, they're out there. Um, and, and a fresh and I start. Personally, a fresh start. And and I personally am actually not one of those individuals that hates on the new year resolution thing. Like I, I actually, I'm an optimist. So I love that there is a time of year that presents people with an opportunity to potentially reassess, uh, to set some goals, to, uh, you know, hit reset. And, and while the data shows that the vast majority of these things, um, fail or people do not achieve the things or or the the goals that they set the resolutions i i also think that's because we don't deeply enough not only analyze what our goals are and 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 uh you know what we're putting on paper but but i don't think we ask the simple question of why these things are important right yeah i think a lot of us are setting or just setting poor you know bad goals and and it's hard to say that because if someone says, I want to lose weight. Well, when I hear something like that, I'm already like, dude, that, that, that's a goal in my mind that is failing on a number of levels. If one, you want to lose weight has no actual start or stop, you know, from whether it's a number or times of the week you're working out or whatever that looks like. Um, and there's also usually not a why, right? Yeah. Okay. You want to lose weight. Awesome. Why? Well, because I want to look a little better, I want to feel better, whatever it is, it's just not a strong why to drive you through, uh, to drive that goal to to become something that's truly important. And then, and then I think the second part is, oftentimes our goals we don't put them on our calendar in a very practical way. So you know, carry that that one out through, carry that one through. I want to lose weight. Okay, cool. What does that look like? Well, I thought about why, and my why is because I want to be more comfortable, live a longer life so that I can walk my kid down the aisle. Awesome. That's a pretty strong why. That's good. Um, So what does that look like? Okay, well, that looks like five days a week, I'm going to go to the gym. Three days a week, that's cardio. For, you know, two days a week, that's lifting. And I'll do that at this specific time in the morning. And I care so much about it that I'm going to actually hire somebody or I'm going to you know, reach out to a friend to be an accountability partner or meet somebody new at the gym that will be an accountability partner to help me show up. And, uh, you know, and, and I will potentially follow this program or do this thing. Like there's a lot of steps to take and to reflect on your calendar to show truly how important that is to you that we can do. And I, and I just think some of those steps are missing sometimes. Yeah. Uh, one of our favorite books um, that we uh, read together in, in the Storehouse Mastermind is, is Atomic Habits by James Clear. And and I have this written star underlined bold. He says, willpower isn't a long-term strategy. Like you set some goal and you think that willpower is going to get you through. It's not going to happen. And, and honestly, I think that's why a lot of people, um, you know, set these goals, you know, go join and have a gym in, in you know, January. Uh, and then they, quickly fade off and 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 don't make it to the gym you know past january february willpower isn't gonna, isn't going to work for you um you know he also talks about um the you know lead measures and and this is another book we that we've read the four disciplines of execution talking about lead measures like what lead measures are you putting in place what habits are you putting in place on a daily basis that's going to get you uh, to that long term goal he says the results are the lagging measure of the habits that preceded them. Like you have to implement habits. And for you and I, we honestly think that putting them onto the calendar um, and, and you know, giving yourselves reminders and what's on your calendar, what's important to you is what's on your calendar. So if you're not doing that, uh, I, I'd say start. Yeah, and and the other thing that that'll be a, a very good indicator of what's most important to you is is your checkbook. 
Yeah. And so a lot of times there's a direct correlation between the calendar and the checkbook as well, right? It, it, if this is something that's truly important, then, you know, whatever that is. So again, an easy one is this idea of weight loss or getting in shape. That Then you will invest some money into doing that. And that will really that will really solidify if it truly is important to you. If you're willing to take and say you eat extremely unhealthy and you eat out all the time. Well, I, well, I bet you that if you diverted some of the funds that went to, you know, whatever, whatever unhealthy habits that we may have, you diverted some of those funds to something that is much more, you know, healthy and in line with the goals that you want to set and the story that you're telling yourself, then th there's, there's probably some capacity there to, to, to exchange that, right? To even make it a zero sum game. But it requires a couple of things. One, it requires the intentionality of tracking what you're spending in these different places. And then it requires you to take action to get a person to do a thing and 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 to, to weigh all those costs and those benefits and, and the opportunity costs. But again, you know, for me, a lot of this stuff boils down to just the level of intentionality, right? You know, we talk about these books, we talk about these things that we do. Well, one of the biggest things that we do is that we've invested money to be surrounded by people who think about these things, who yeah. offer these resources, who can be sources of accountability and who will challenge us, challenge, challenge us and, and, and hold us to a higher standard. And I think that, you know, again, there are, there's just a disconnect between having a really good sounding goal. Like, man, I just really want to spend more time with my wife and my kids because I love them. That's awesome. That is great. I love that. Sounds beautiful. What are you Sounds doing about so tell me, okay, so tell me the practical step that you can do. Well, I haven't really thought about that. Well, then how are you going to do it? And it's easy, right? It's easy. But the practical step is that I'm going to set two hours aside every week on, you know, Wednesday and Thursday to be with my kids. And I'm going to pick one Friday a month to uh, take my wife, my husband on a date, right? Well, that's a very practical thing. And you can actually achieve that because you could put that in your calendar and then you can make it happen. And oftentimes that's free. It only costs time or it only costs commitment. And so I, I think it's, uh, you know, it's this challenge that as we come into this very hopeful time of the year, as we're in this very hopeful time of the year of new beginnings, two things. One, you can start a new beginning any day of the week, right? You can start a new beginning right now. You, you, yep. you stop listening to this podcast and you, you have a new beginning. It's just a mindset. I'm going to start a new today. But but there's also the next level. If it's truly important to you, if it's truly important to you, then it will make its way to your calendar. It will make its way into your checkbook. And and if it's not, it, it, the exercise of saying, you know, determining if it's truly important will also help you realize if you're just telling yourself lies, like it may not, if your goal for the last 10 years has been to get fit and you've done nothing practical about it except write it on my new year's resolution, then, then it's not really a good goal. And it's not something that this year is going to be no different until, and maybe it's very liberating to just say, actually I'm, and it's also maybe healthy to say, I'm very content with what I look like, how I feel. And I'm just going to stop lying to myself and put that brain capacity somewhere else. to so something that's truly important. Or at a minimum, it'll it'll force you to analyze your current set of goals, tendencies, routines, and to make a call on, is that really where you want to be? Love it, dude. So this year, new fresh start. I think about uh, the the reason you're you're setting these goals, the why behind it. Uh, put it on the calendar. Start creating new habits, um, and uh, surround yourself with people that uh, are going to hold you to that. Invest in yourself, whether that's you know a coach, a mastermind, um, a, a program, what, whatever that is. Your checkbook and your calendar will tell you what's most important. Love it. True. Do True. it. True. Go. Did it. Giddy up. As, See you up. Saying, as, as you folks say in Texas, giddy up. Giddy up, y'all. See ya.